Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Unsighted. Last time we re left off, we successfully defeated a uh, Robo Bird and got our fourth shard. So now we have one shard left to get and I'm hoping I can do it. And I'm running low on Meteor Essence and I think Grandma over here was about to die. Uh... Iris, Teresa, and Elisa all need some. Okay. Well, isn't that just dandy? Because, boy, I don't have a lot. Here you go. Okay. Oops, yep. Um, Iris, you need one. Oh, are you sure? I mean, you don't need it more than I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, now Elisa, who was... Where exactly? There's another character too, right? Anna kinda needs it, but she can hold off for a little bit. Shit, Cleo. You're the fishing character, aren't you? Damn. Yeah, you're like the fishing character. I gotta go to where there's a, like, fishing spot, and you'll, you'll be there. Ugh, this is getting a lot to manage. Quickly becoming a lot to manage. Um... Where would you be at, Cleo? You're in various spots with water. But, uh, I need to find one of those spots. Let's also go over here to Elisa and, uh, give her a little something-something. Bye, guys. Um, we also need to, as soon as possible, uh, find out what the deal is with that research that, um, that character last time told us about. Because that may let us manufacture meteor dust or anim or anima, which would be amazing. I hope you're not here to waste my time. I'm here to give you meteor dust. There you go. Is this for me? Or are you one kid? Alright, enjoy. I'm trying to keep everybody alive and it's very hard. <laughs> All right, especially when it's a blind playthrough and you don't know what you don't know what you're doing. You don't know where the best stuff's at and all of that jazz. You don't know how to solve ice puzzles. It's rough, okay? All right, we've done all that. Um, Cleo, damn it, where are you? Where would you be? I remember there being some areas where you were kind of prone to hang out. I think there's one over here across the water. I believe. I believe. Mm-hmm. Because I would like to keep everyone alive if possible. Why is this glowing? Hey, this. I think I remember it. What? Raquel. Oh. This is, uh, where that, uh, thumbnail I made came from. Yeah, you two were laying on the bench together. Be here with you when this is all over, Alma, I promise. I... I really... No. Hey, Alma, are you okay? Uh, Raquel, I'm coming for you. Alright. We gotta go... Saver. Apparently I've already done that, I guess? <clears throat> I hadn't realized I had. Yeah, yeah, there you are, Cleo. Cool, this is the best spot to get to you. Hey there, how's your fishing going? Found anything? Sell you some of the trash. Here you go. For me? Thank you so much, Alma. Make the most out of it, blorp. Bet you will. Alright, let's get some fishing done, why don't we? Get a little something-something. There's an achievement for getting 30 perfect catches, and uh, also I got an achievement last episode for uh, defeating one of the shadow monsters with uh, conventional weaponry, basically, is what it said. So I'm guessing that's because I just parried them to death, basically. Which is neat. Neat that I was able to uh, do that. Can you die, please? Really wasting my time, and I really don't have time to waste. Alright, let's just run. Let's just go. 
107 hours remaining. I feel like Alma has plenty of time, but god, everybody else is really running out. Alright, we need to get back over there. Um, you had some stuff. There's your research. And I think you said it was to the east? That's where we would need to go to, uh... Can I get that? Did I finish exploring this whole town too? I don't think I did. Well, there's a way to go up there. Or did I explore the whole town? No, I, I actually did. Didn't I? Alright, well, let's get out of here. Industrial Sector South. Hello, nerd. You die too. And dead. So, I need to find... some meteor dust. That's like, number one priority for me. Oh god! You're like the traveling, uh... person. Traveling merchant. Crazy. Ran out of energy there. Or stamina. Uh, ooh, revive cog, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Need those. Uh, hi. Hi. God, that runner chip is so amazing. Just being able to sprint however much I want. Uh, I'm trying to get the perfect parries on this. This stupid bastard. Jeez. Alright, we're good. There we go, got a perfect. God. I hate the stupid enemies that just run around and shoot you with projectiles from, like, far away and stuff. Where is this? Hey, Alma, this place looks familiar to me. Alma, I think this is my dad's workshop. Yay! He used to live here with my sister, Crystal. We finally found it! Let's go in. Remember the password? It's 1642. Okay, that was what that password was for. Gotcha. Yeah, I knew I had another password, but I forgot what it was for. 1642. Um... One, six, four, two. Can there be some meteor dust in here, please? This seems like a... not secret thing, but optional thing, so... Oh no, oh no, oh no! Crystal! Iris, I'm sorry. She didn't make it. I'm... I'm so dumb. I should have been here for her. No. Iris. Alma. I've had enough. Let's finish our mission. Once we're done, I can come back here and I'll build all the other fairy bots, even if I have to do it alone. Dad, Crystal, they just wanted to have a family. If I can do anything to help, you can count on me. Thanks, Alma. You know, I love my sister, but I think she was wrong. She always said that we had to look out for our own, that nobody else would ever help us. But you and Vana and everyone back in Gear Village, you've all done so much to help me, and I'm doing what I can to help you too. So let's finish saving everyone, and then I'll come back to rebuild my family. Iris. Yay. Dr. Celio, Log 25. Before Anima, making fairy bots was just a matter of loading them up with the database and parts necessary for their jobs. Operating terminals, managing chips, maps, providing information in general. But now... Now they are like all automatons, living beings, just like us. Creating one isn't like making a tool anymore, it's like having a child. Those automatons, when given a body, will be capable of thought, of love, of sadness, of pain. It's such a strange feeling. It makes me rethink what it means to be a person, to be human. I'm afraid most of them resent us with good reason. For now, I'll keep hiding in my workshop, far from any automaton and far from any human, now that they're gone too. Uh, can you have some cool stuff in here? What is this? Okay, there is meteor dust. Awesome. Celia Log 31. Started making fairy bots again. They call me their father. I guess that's only fair. So far I've made two. I don't have the materials to make more. There are so many hostile automatons around here, I have to be careful. I have to protect my daughters too. Don't believe many automatons would be willing to work with humans ever again. Many of us still see them as lifeless tools. If only they could see the little family we have here. The joy my children bring me. We must stay hidden. Guess we don't have the luxury of making friends for now. Oh. And hidden place. Only one! I mean, it was still worth the trip over here, but... 
Boy, it would have been nice to get a little bit more. Okay, and where does this come out at? Ah, there's that shortcut. Okay. Cool. Well, that's one more uh, meteor dust that I didn't have before, so I'm cool with that. 74% map completion. We are certainly getting there. Basically, according to that, I have 25% of the game left. Gates are closed from the inside. That's the elevator I need. Hey look, that must be the elevator car I was talking about. Maybe we can get inside by climbing on the roof? Rooftops? Yeah. Alright. Okay, so we gotta get in there. I'm hoping this will allow me to, like, possibly craft anima. Because that would be awesome. Come here, you. You're very annoying, you guys. Huh. Boom, boom. Alright. We did it. We're in. Hacker voice, I'm in. Alright. There we go. Boom. Yay! I made it. Alright, so get me down here. I need this research. I want to see what it is. See what it's all about. We can't get across that gap. That's for damn sure. Alright, please. You too? Okay. All's well that ends well. They're all dead. Okay. It is so depressing when you actually think that these are like... These used to be basically... Not people, but sapient beings. And now they're just basically zombies. It does suck, because these are... People I'm murdering. <laughs> but they're just like mindless enemy fodder to me now. How do I oh that would be how. I was like, how am I supposed to get up here? Alright, let's get up there. So I can jump across to this, which gets me up here. Alright, some more resources is always nice. I imagine if, um, we do get the ability to, um, uh, make, like, some kind of anima with this, it's not going to give them many more hours. It'll probably be way worse than, uh, dust. No, you don't. Alright, you guys are coming out, right? Ow. Try to get the parry there. There we go. Eat it, nerd. Thank you kindly. Alright, so we need to get one of those uh, orb things over there, I'm guessing. Bluey. God, using this grappling hook feels really, really good. I quite like it. Alright, what's through here? Oh, there's this. Okay, we should get this back. Uh-huh. Give me. Alright, what do you do? Okay, that's just what opens that door. Gotcha. Alright, nothing too crazy then. Thought it would maybe open up something back here. Okay, but what was through this door? Uh, underground office. Ah, uh, there's a meteor dust over there, but... I can't get across that lava, not right now. Okay, I'm gonna add a pip over here. Because I would like to get over there at some point, but... Yeah, I think with what I've got right now, I, I can't, right? Oh, that was a bad call. Yeah, I can't get over there, not now. Hmm. Maybe we can loop around there some way? I don't know. <clears throat> Let's get in here. Uh, you look terrifying. Ah, damn it. <clears throat> I was not ready for that. 103 hours remaining. How many bolts did I lose? 6,000. That's not horrible. Uh, I wasn't prepared. Why don't you try activating your effect cogs? I, I wasn't paying attention. Shut up. 
I wasn't paying attention to, um... How much damage I was actually taking there. I thought I had a few more hits, but that guy hit really, really hard. So we had to be a little bit more careful there. Alright, well... I think I'll be able to beat him this time. He's un He was unfortunately one of those enemies where you have to parry them multiple times, and I just missed a parry. But we'll be we'll be ready this time. I should have been better about my effect cogs there. That was my bad. Luckily, since I have the greed chip, it is so easy just to build my bolts back up. Um, it does suck, though. The greed chip definitely seems like it's screwing me over more often than not, but... Uh, I was gonna say I could take it off before the boss fight, basically. I could also just take it off before I die, since I have the ability to just swap that stuff out on the fly. Huh, maybe I should have done that. Alright, this time let's uh, actually equip my cogs, why don't we? So, stamina, defense, and I'll put the revive on just in case. Let's also switch to a different weapon. Where's my uh, blaster? There we go. Where you big bastard? God, the timing for that's so weird. There you go, you big idiot. Eat shit. There. Well, you're dead now. That cost me my defense cog, but whatever, it's fine. Yeah. His timing was very weird, because to get it perfectly, you you had a very small window, it felt like, to actually get the perfect on that. I didn't even get a lot of fucking bolts for your ass. Whatever. Automaton Mobility Research, Log 103. Researcher Clara here, testing the newly developed high jump boots. Capable of extending the cap abilities of bipedal automatons. Aside from the usual height gain, the high jump boots allow for some acrobatic tricks that might not be obvious, the most important one being the wall jump. For running up a wall, a bipedal automaton can perform another jump in the opposite direction, making it possible for automatons to reach very high platforms. Yeah, okay, so we've been able to do that this entire time, or did it just, like, unlock the ability for me uh, after doing that? There we go. Okay, it was a bit weird to input, but we did it. Can I...? Uh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. So yeah, in that fight in particular, the, uh, the blaster definitely seems like it's kind of fallen off in terms of damage. It seems just way more effective to, uh, use the, um, uh, sword. So... That's something we should keep in mind, I guess. That thing is definitely not as good as it once was. Hello. Alright, so I can move you around. Now the question is, what is the point of that? Oh, using it as a uh, wall jump fodder. There we go. Cool. Put that down there. And this will open up the way over here. Oops. Ah! God, that stupid gear, man. Sometimes it screws me up. Okay, come on. There we go. Input's a little difficult to do sometimes. Because you can, like, double jump and then you, like, consume your jump and you can't jump anymore, it seems. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just really bad at it. Alright. Dead. All of you. There's a elevator that goes up. So you wanted me to get up this way. No, don't do that. No, do the do the wall jump. Do the wall jump. <laughs> oh my god. It's like sometimes it doesn't and sometimes it doesn't. It's weird. I'm like holding towards the wall and jumping and it's like uh-uh. There we go. Automaton mobility research. Bipedal automatons capable of running can also perform the long jump. Yeah. This trick simply increase their speed. Yeah. I've already learned how to long jump. Thank you. Um. Alright. 
right, so yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. That one's easy to input, but the other one, not so much. Oh, come on. Can I hit it from all the way over there? What? One, how the hell did I miss that? And two, why did it rocket me off the platform? Oh my god. Okay, the, the wall jump. I don't like the wall jump in this. I really wish the spinner was on a different button. Because it's so easy to accidentally do the spinner sometimes. We do not intend to. Like, I don't know what it would be, mind you, but... I don't know, I feel like it would be helpful. I should've just done that from the beginning. Rather than try to do the stupid stuff I was doing before. Whatever. We're out of here. Oh my god. Yeah, the wall jump. Why is it so awkward? High jump boots seem to be working perfectly. My friend Natalia shall deliver this prototype to Vana at the Gear Village. I hope nothing goes wrong on the, her way there. The downtown sector seems to be crowded with unsighted. Um, so how do I get in? Oh, this would be how. See? Do the wall jump! Alma, please, for the love of God! I'm like... It just does not work the same way that you would expect in other games. Like, in other games, like, if I'm playing Mario, I jump on the wall, I jump there, I jump there. Eh. Okay, maybe I just wasn't doing it fast enough? I don't know. Yeah, maybe I am just bad. But, it was, it, I don't know, it was being weird sometimes, it felt like. But maybe I'm just stupid. Alright, so... I mean, I guess I can move that over there so that I can get up here, but what is this? This is what I want. I need some research papers about how anima affects the bodies of automatons. It looks in good shape compared to everything else around here. Yes. Hey, this must be the research Clara was talking about. Let's show her what we found. Yeah, we gotta go back over there. Report back to Clara. So, there is more to this place, though. So do I want to investigate the rest of this really quick? No, I don't want to push it. I want to wall jump off of it, preferably. Um, see, it... Sometimes, man. Sometimes it's just like, uh-uh. Ugh. No, stop. No, I'm trying to do this! Guys. Ah! <laughs> It won't work! <laughs> no! Can I just turn the top off so that I can do this without activating that? Oh my god. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. It's so, like, finicky and weird. And, like... There, oh my god. <laughs> Why is that so difficult? Oh my god. Uh, where do you go, actually? You go up here. Eh. I should probably just keep exploring this place and try to find a way out. Poor soul. Struggling to keep living. I've been watching you from atop the cathedral. If you want assistance, come to me. I can help you increase your remaining time. What? Atop the cathedral. Cathedral tower. Okay. Well, I would like to do that. Increase my remaining time sounds very good. Please, like, don't make me wall jump a lot. Alma, look out. It's that thing again. Oh, but come on. There's some shit in there. I don't think it's safe for us to go this way. We have to find another path. No, I'm doing it. Uh... Yeah, eat it, nerd. Come here, you. Oh my god, do you have to have ads, dude? This would be so much easier if you didn't have the fucking ads! Oh my god! There we go. Oh. You! You! You little shit! Come here! 
You too, no, die. <laughs> God, the stupid ads, man. Those guys would be comical without them, which I guess is why they have them in the first place, but it's so annoying to take them out while also dealing with the giant thing that takes out half your health bar in one swipe. Ugh. We're done. We did it. I accomplished what I wanted to. Okay, this is a big open area. Jeez. I'm gonna go investigate this other place first. 98 hours remaining. Well, now we definitely need to go interact with this other character that's like, I can help you increase your remaining time. Because that sounds very nice. Alright, I think we're- Oh god! That's a pit. Okay. You know what, maybe I should just go take that. I don't know though. We're starting to run out of time here, so I need to... Phew. God, this game stresses me out. And those... Those shadow guys, man. I need a better way of taking out their ads. When I'm dealing with them. For sure. So what is... What is the deal with this? Ooh! Excuse me? How do I get that? I want that. This is just like a maze, but there's a... There's a thingy in here. That I want. Okay, that reversed them. Oh, it's gonna be a maze to get that. Mmm. It's gonna be a pretty nuts... Oh, come on. Fish, please. Let's see if I can get anything good. Phew. Stress. Stressing me the hell out, man, I swear. Good. Ow. Whatever. By the way, is this on the, uh, list? Treasure album? It is, actually. This looks like the place. This definitely looks like the place. Um... Treasure album. Yeah, but there needs to be an ice flow, basically. Or I need to be, like, across a gap? And take the opportunity to heal. Okay, so I need to be on, like, the other side of a gap. And then... That'll, uh, be what I need. Yeah, I don't see any things of water big enough to be what I'm looking for. Wait, I looped around somehow? Ah. How am I supposed to get that, then? I really want it. Hmm. I feel like this probably just leads out, right? Or maybe not. Let's do some fishing. Come on. Gimme. Ah. Okay, a defense cog is nice, though. Thank you. Uh, I, I was initially sad because I just got a good, but, um, in this particular instance, that's fine. Uh... Okay, get me over there. He's dead. Alright, what are you? Fatigue Chimp. Increases damage by 25%, but cuts the user's total... Stamina in half? Ooh, I dislike that. Um... Okay, that wasn't what I was supposed to do there. Um, give me the hook shot. And boom. There we go. Okay, so... That door over there. How do I actually... get over there? Um... This leads somewhere. Where does this go? Sewers terminal. Oh, cool, there's a terminal here. Neato. Very happy with that. Thank you for the iron ingot. Ooh, terminal. Alright, good, I can recharge. <sighs> that was all that money I lost was almost another chip slot, damn it. Alright, well, I think we're gonna go ahead and end this episode of Unsighted off here. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.